Jennifer Garner has lived in some beautiful family homes over the years. After moving on from her longtime home in the Pacific Palisades, she rented a beautiful all-white house across from that place worth about $14 million. In the meantime, the actress was having a brand new custom home built for her in the neighborhood of Brentwood, Los Angeles, which will now be her main abode. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. If you were trying to describe actress Jennifer Garner with a few short words, you'd probably use adjectives like stunning, sophisticated, and timeless. And guess what? You can use those exact same words to describe her current and former homes. As it turns out, house hunting must be in the air. After all, not only is Jennifer in the midst of moving into her brand new house, but her former flame and one-time husband Ben Affleck, well, he just moved into a new place of his own with former ex and now rekindled flame JLo. But Jennifer didn't want Ben to be the only one having the fun, so after selling her long time home in the Pacific Palisades, she rented herself a brand new place down the street from her old one. A stunning all white abode that's worth about $14 million. So why was Jen renting this house and not buying the place outright? Well because for the past couple of years, she's been having a brand new home constructed for her in the trendy neighborhood of Brentwood. And if her Instagram is to be believed, it seems like Jennifer's new place is finally ready for her and her kids. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous entertainment today looking at where Jennifer Garner calls home. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat. And now, let's get into this video. While her ex-husband might be getting hot and heavy with JLo all over again at a new house in Beverly Hills, Jennifer Garner is thriving in a spectacular $14 million mansion located in the LA neighborhood of Pacific Palisades. The home was formerly owned by cosmetics heir Dean Factor before being sold to the current investor owner for a reported $13.86 million. While it's unclear exactly how much Jen was renting the place for, real estate site Zillow estimates she's probably paying somewhere in the ballpark of 53 k per month. That sure is a lot of money, but hey, at least Jennifer's surrounding herself in luxury and we know that she can afford it. So let's take a closer look at the place. This epic sized mansion boasts six bedrooms, seven and a half baths, and spans more than 10,500 square feet, which means there's plenty of space for spare rooms. The home's traditional exterior is painted a crisp white and features features a bunch of symmetrical balconies alongside an entirely charming red front door. Even the front lawn is perfectly manicured and has an adorable stone path that leads right up to the house, providing a touch of charm. Once inside, you'll discover an extremely large front foyer that's big enough to fit a Christmas tree that is, as Jennifer herself would admit, a little bit aggressive. Offsetting all of that open space is a sophisticated living room. It features a bright white palette as well as a large sectional couch and a plush room. Rug. Meanwhile, a variety of throw pillows and blankets create a very cozy vibe. And not far from there is a totally remodeled kitchen that's been outfitted with marble counters, white cabinets, and a white subway tile backsplash. While the majority of the kitchen continues the all white motif the house is clearly running with, it's nicely contrasted by the deep brown shade of hardwood flooring that runs underneath. There's also a bright and airy breakfast nook that's located right off of the kitchen. Heading upstairs, you'll find the home's four ensuite bedrooms, each of them with a balcony of its own boasting sweeping vistas. As for the master suite, it's an extremely spacious room with vaulted ceilings and boasts a stunning bathroom all its own. Here, instead of the dark hardwood floors, you will find a light tile while a vanity situated right in front of some large windows lets in even more natural lights. Of course, it also includes a giant sized tub and a large walk-in shower. And if that bathroom isn't enough to sell you on this place, then how about the enormous walk-in closet that's also a part of the suite? In here, you'll find cabinets, shelves, and smaller closets for Jennifer to hang all her clothes and accessories from. There's even enough room for some additional seating. But as nice of all these rooms have been so far, the bottom floor of the house is where the fun really starts. Down here, you'll find spaces tailor-made for entertainment and relaxation, like the home's giant screening room. It comes complete with leather seating and a massive projection screen. If you'd prefer to play some games instead, then you can head on over to the billiards room where there's plenty of opportunity to play some pool on a table that sits underneath a classy looking traditional chandelier. Elsewhere, there's a climate controlled wine cellar that boasts exposed stone walls and enough room to hold more bottles than most people would be able to get through. And if you're ever in need for a wind down from the wine, then maybe Jennifer will invite you to partake in her private sauna that looks like it's straight out of a five stars ball. The 
expansive backyard is also a showstopper. Here, there's a large grassy lawn that lines a swimming pool, a spa, and an entertaining patio that includes a fireplace as well as a barbecue kitchen. Despite how stunning this place is, let's not forget that it's a rental and Jen always knew this was a temporary thing. So let's check out where she's headed to next. According to the New York Post, Jennifer bought a property located in the LA neighborhood of Brentwood in 2019 for a reported $7.9 million. She then immediately had the original four bedroom house that was constructed back in 1930 knocked down to make way for a custom home built from the ground up. Now I know we haven't talked about this yet, but Jennifer has been dating a successful businessman by the name of John Miller since 2018. He's actually the first man she's been involved with since her marriage to Affleck came to an end. While the two have been together for a decent amount of time now, it's not believed that Miller will be sharing this new home with Jen. During a conversation with People Magazine, Jennifer would tell them about her living situation. I've learned that I'm pretty sturdy. I'm okay when I'm in the house by myself. I'm okay when it's just the kids and me. I'm I'm okay when they fall apart. I mean, I have my moments, but pretty much, I'm really okay. And Jennifer will no doubt be more than just okay in this new family home. Here's what we know about the place. It sits on just under half an acre of land and has been made to resemble a Cape Cod inspired design. And since Jen has been involved in every aspect of this home's construction, she's also had a few special details custom installed to really make this place feel special. For instance, her living room has been built to resemble a fully stocked library with with bookshelves all over. What's more, Jen even added an amazing touch with the addition of a stained glass window designed to look like her gorgeous golden retriever birdie. Meanwhile, Jen also offered us a glimpse into other areas of her new home when she posted a dance video to Instagram. Here we discovered that her kitchen boasts floor to ceiling wooden panels that are meant to disguise her massive fridge, while the black and white marble countertops are almost as striking as the all white kitchen from her last place. As for her living room, it looks snug and cozy with even more wooden paneling covering its walls while framing a classic stone set fireplace. The last space Jen's given us a peek of is the home gym that offers all of her necessary room to get tons of aerobics in, including a miniature trampoline. She's also apparently got enough space outside to build her own greenhouse, but the only crop we know for sure Jen's growing out there is a bunch of delicious looking blueberries. All in all, this home seems to fit Jennifer just right. All right guys, that's gonna conclude our Jennifer Garner house tour. So what did you guys think of both of these homes? And what other kind of personalized details do you think Jen might have had installed in her new place? Be sure to let me know in the comments down below. As usual, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram if you want to chat. I'll see you all in another one. Bye!